What's happening y'all? Welcome to another episode of Red Oak Outdoors. I am in a little bit of a hurry, but that's all right. It is a beautiful day down here in Southern New Mexico. I am kind of exhausted, but I actually just met up with a subscriber. So huge shout out to Michael. We're actually gonna be fishing with him here in a little bit. I'm just uh, grabbing my stuff. I have not taken any of my stuff or put any of my fishing stuff back in my truck since I got back from Colorado a few days ago. I'm just really excited about today, man. I haven't been fishing in like a week and a half or two weeks or something like that. And I have the itch. I really need to just get out on the water. So that's going to be enough talking. We're going to get out there. We're going to fish the dam. I, I know I fish a lot of videos there, but I mean, it's just awesome. It's a great area to fish uh, most of the time. But anyway, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm, I'm done talking. Let's go get by the water. And while I'm while I'm getting all this stuff ready, go ahead, like the video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Oh, that old Bronco is pretty neat. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Um, I do uh, for the government. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you live down there in Crucis? Yeah. Nice. How often do you come up and fish? Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, this year it's been pretty good. And I think last year without there being so much pressure here on the lake yeah. helped out a lot. Well, that's what the guy at um, the kayak. Yeah. He said, he said mm -hmm. that you didn't have near the pressure, the white bass had time to, mm -hmm. you know, to grow up and, and spawn. Oh, well, there's something jumping right here. I want to try somewhere else. Maybe. Yeah, let's, let, we can head, head over there towards the dam. I think we'll have a little better luck over there. And up here too, so there's that point there, mm -hmm. and about 10 feet off that point, there's a huge drop off right there. And it drops down, it'll probably be 30 or 40 feet deep right off of that ledge. Oh yeah, that's where they're going. Yeah, so. That's good to know. Yeah, that's, my, the first smallmouth I ever caught was actually right there. Oh, okay. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's a good spot. It's a really good spot, and normally, I'll, normally, pretty well yeah I might as well hike on down to those buoys yeah I normally don't have too much luck between here and the buoys but uh, so you fish along the dam you never do um, I, I occasionally, but it gets, you can see where like those big rocks are. Yeah. It gets pretty steep and it's a little sketchy over there. Gotcha. Every time I fall in walking down here, it's over there. Of course, right after the battery dies, catching a fish. <sighs> That's all right. You still have that blade bait tied on? Okay. That might work over there, I think. You got one. Oh wow, that's a nice one, right on. <laughs> you know, it's funny, um, it was a while ago I ended up catching, a, it was about the same time of day I caught a crappie right here. That is interesting, very interesting. That'll work. Well, I'm glad you got something. I was feeling bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Oh, oh, dang. Yeah, I got a decent one. Oh, he just got off. Dang it. No, Texas rig. Yeah, he was, a, he was a decent one. He scared me. I was, I was just kind of reeling it in. And, uh, man, he smoked it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, didn't know what to do with him. I was in an, kind of an awkward position, couldn't set the hook. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Huge shout out to Mike for fishing with me yesterday. That was just, it was a good time. Great conversation. Mike is a great guy. As many other subscribers that I've met, I've got to fish with a few of you guys already, and it's just so much fun. I love just being able to hang out with you guys. You guys are literally the best. Um, yeah, that was, we just had a really good time yesterday. Great conversation. We both caught a couple, you know, I... I caught one and then I lost another one and then, you know, Mike caught that crappie, which is always fun, man. It's always fun. Um, but now, you know, I'm already getting ready for our next adventure and I'm, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to meeting more of you guys in person. So, and this is like the perfect time because we're still a small channel, you know what I mean? So if you guys want to come out and fish, hang out, whatever, uh, just hit me up, you know, find me on Instagram or uh, Facebook or whatever. Just find me, you know, just, just let me know. I'm always down to fish. I'm always down to hang out. And, uh, oh my gosh, I'm stepping in all kinds of stickers right on. Anyway, uh, I'm done for, uh, you know, well, this episode anyway, I'm getting ready to start shooting another one. So anyway, love you guys. And I'll see y'all on the next one. We got a big one. We got a big one. We got one of the big ones. It's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This might be the best one of the day. Oh yes. He's a tank. Oh, we caught ourselves a tank, guys. Yes. Oh, he's a mega. He's so big. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh man, that's another four. That's a four all day. All right, let's get you back. There she goes. That's another big fish. What the heck? What the heck are we doing, guys? Oh, fish. oh he's an acrobat. Oh, he's an acrobat. Send her back into the depths. That is a big old fish. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that makes today worth it. That makes today worth it, don't you think? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and just toss him just like that. Oh my gosh.